Welcome to USS Razorback. This video will present Razorback's history from World War II to today. USS Razorback was built at the Portsmouth Naval Shipyard in Kittery, Maine. She was built in the shipyard's dry dock along with two sister ships, and the three submarines were launched along with the fourth submarine on January 27, 1944, the only time in history that four submarines have been launched on the same day. The Razorback was commissioned April 3, 1944, and immediately began training for combat. During her training period, Razorback ran aground in the late evening hours of May 23rd at Race Rock Light outside the New London Submarine Base. Initial attempts to free her failed, and she was ultimately forced to offload gun ammunition and torpedoes from the forward torpedo room in order to lighten the submarine sufficiently that she could be pulled free from the mud. The Razorback began her first war patrol on August 25, 1944. She ultimately conducted five war patrols, earning five battle stars while sinking two Japanese destroyers, four large merchant ships, and a dozen small ships. She also captured four Japanese POWs and rescued five American airmen who had been shot down. At the end of the war, out of the 288 submarines that saw combat, Razorback was selected to be one of only 12 submarines present at Tokyo Bay when the surrender was signed aboard the battleship USS Missouri, officially ending World War II. Of these 12 witnesses to history, only two have been preserved as museums. The Razorback stayed in active service after World War II, and in 1952 she returned to the Portsmouth Naval Shipyard to be modernized under the Guppy, or Greater Underwater Propulsive Power Program. Her deck guns were removed and her outer hull was completely streamlined. Her battery capacity was doubled. She received improved sonar and radar equipment and a snorkel was added, which allowed her to run her diesel engines while submerged, greatly reducing her vulnerability to radar detection. After her modernization, Razorback resumed her Cold War duties, including training with USS and Allied forces, as well as conducting surveillance patrols against the Soviet Union. In 1961, she was modified a second time to the appearance she still has today. On May 11, 1962, Razorback participated in the Swordfish nuclear weapons test. An American anti-submarine weapon known as ASROC was fired at a target raft from two miles away. Razorback was submerged at periscope depth two miles from the target raft. The nuclear warhead on the ASROC weapon detonated producing a powerful underwater shockwave that shook Razorback and her crew. Razorback deployed four times to Vietnam in the 1960s, conducting operations that remain classified. Razorback is one of only a handful of submarines to see combat in both World War II and Vietnam. On November 30, 1970, Razorback was decommissioned and sold to the Turkish Navy as part of America's support of this strategically important ally. Razorback was one of 22 submarines transferred to Turkey during the Cold War. On August 8, 2001, after 30 years of service under the Turkish flag, Razorback was decommissioned. Razorback had been in service for a combined total of 56 years, longer than any other frontline combatant submarine in the world. In 2002, a group of submarine veterans began working to bring Razorback back to the United States as a museum submarine. She arrived in August of 2004 and was officially open to the public on May 15, 2005. 